Greetings, Commanders! Right now, you're watching a new episode of Research and Destroy. This one is completely devoted to the wheeled vehicles in our game. Time to roll out! One of our viewers asked us the following question. Does engine power increase after switching to the rapid mode? This question will be answered using the Rainmetal Borsig Waffentrager, a German tank destroyer. If engine power increases, the wheeled vehicles will push the tank destroyer faster. During the test, we'll use 12 wheeled tanks equipped with identical crews, modules and other components. We placed them next to the German tank destroyers and having shouted, ready, set, go, we began the test. The tanks with the green markers drove with the rapid mode enabled, while those with the red marker kept moving in the cruise mode. You can see the result yourself. Although the green team started with a small delay, they gained the lead. In this experiment, we'll check the following theory. Many players notice that the hull of a destroyed wheeled tank can be sent flying for quite a distance. The question is whether a destroyed wheeled vehicle can destroy another tank by ramming it, and who scores a frag in this case? To answer these questions, our experts started the engines of the EBR-105 and T-1 and headed for Malinovka. They're followed by the FV-4005. Someone has to do the shooting. The wheeled scout speeds up and the Death Star fires. However, this attempt can hardly be called successful. The shot was fired a little late. Another attempt also failed. The third one was successful. The wheeled tank explodes and destroys a T-1. Unfortunately, no one scored a frag. To double-check the experiment, the carcass of the next wheeled scout destroys four small guys, but doesn't score a single frag. Too bad. Now we know that a destroyed wheeled vehicle can destroy someone this way, but never scores a frag. So be cautious when firing at a wheeled scout rushing in your direction. One of our viewers suggested checking how far a wheeled vehicle can jump if accelerated properly. For example, how many IS-7s can a vehicle like this jump over? It sounds interesting and promises to be a lot of fun. Experts of the Research and Destroy series headed for Overlord to find the truth. During the very first attempt, a wheeler jumped over 20 HTs. The second attempt was a little less successful, this time only 16, then another 20. Then we decided to change the sight and increase the number of IS-7s. Speed up and fly! This time our stump machine jumps over as many as 25 tanks. What a great result! If you have any other interesting ideas for wheeled vehicles, share them in the comments. This episode is drawing to an end. Don't forget to like the video and of course subscribe to the channel. See you next time!